Hello and welcome to my Tuesday. It's a mostly working at home day for me today but I have got a rehearsal this evening and I will end up at my boyfriend's place after that. The sun is out, the sky is blue, it's blinking, freezing and I'm going straight back in. <laughs> so far today I've been editing, uploading a video, doing a thumbnail and all that normal stuff. I've been doing an invoice which has taken me up to about 10 to 12. So I'm just making a quick cup of tea now and stopping to talk to you a minute. And then I'm gonna go in the cellar and do a vocal warm up and an hour of flute practice. And if I had common sense, I'd be taking water down with me, not a nice, lovely, yummy cup of tea, but there we are, being slightly naughty. Rebelling against my own self, I think. 10 past one now and I'm using things up out of the freezer again. I'm reheating what's left of yesterday's dinner to have with it and I'll have some cheese as well, I think. Just waiting for the crumpets to cook. I am struggling to stay awake at the moment. I didn't really sleep enough last night. I was up till quarter to one because I was editing late for the other channel. And um, I was gonna get up at nine. I set my alarm for nine. It still went off at nine, but I'd been up for an hour by that point. Uh, anyway, yeah, it is what it is. I'm terrible. If I don't get eight hours, I can't think straight all day. I'm terrible for that. What are you like? Can you manage on, yeah, Probably most of you can manage on less sleep than me. I'm a real sleep wimp. And this spots situation, I've you probably noticed I've just covered in spots at the moment and they're proper itchy, erupty ones as well with pressure underneath. And I've got another two coming a bit. I'm trying not to touch them, but I could feel them irritating me. I was beginning to wonder if I had chicken pox or something, because it's getting ridiculous. So I have one here, I've had one there, it's just gone. One there. One there, one there, and I was just thinking, if I just get one here, I could turn my head over and I'd look a bit like the plough constellation. Uh, anyway, it hasn't quite come to that yet. I don't actually think I've got chicken pox. It's just what they reminded me of, the intensity of them and how they all popped up at once. Anyway, hopefully they're gonna go away soon. Cheese appeared as if by magic. And here comes my jollop on the side. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm feeling unmotivated. I went to sleep. I had to have a nap. I was really, really tired after eating my lunch. I just sort of went zonk and I was out like a light and I slept and slept and now I'm awake. I've got to go out in about two and a half hours-ish. I need to cook a meal in that time. I'm going to cook it in the last hour before I leave and then package it up. And I've got like a bag that's meant for putting food in. It's like a cool bag, but I'm wondering if it works as a keeping it slightly warm bag. We'll see. I'm really struggling with motivation this afternoon for some reason. <laughs> I am going to just try and think about one task at a time anyway and try and get that done and try and speed myself up a bit now because I've got into a right old slump and I hate that. I hate it when I feel like my momentum has really dropped and I'm being sluggish. I just, I don't know, I feel like it's just going to get slower and slower and eventually <laughs> stop. But anyway, I'm, I'm waking up now. I'm waking up. I'm going to get to it. So we've got a gig coming up at the weekend. I am going to type up the set list that we've got for it. IB made one up as we went along. We sort, Well, we all sort of agreed it last week. So we're rehearsing tonight. So if I can just get that typed up, put it in my Notion and have a paper copy for other people, that would be helpful because it doubles as a practice list then as well. And I can make notes against each one of what I need to practice between now and the weekend. But probably not much, to be honest, because we did a load in December so it should be fine um what else I'd like to get us checked in for our flights just because I want to tick it off the list it's not urgent because we're not going for quite a few weeks but it's a quickish job I think I can just get done and then I'll be glad that I've got it done oh and a package came from Amazon I don't know what it is it's nothing that exciting or new or interesting or different do you want to see what's in here I bet you can guess because it's something I've had a few times before well I have it every month actually <laughs> yeah we could pig's ear that. <laughs> it's my lentil cakes that I love having for breakfast with butter and marmite and a little bowl of natural yogurt with seeds and fruit. There we are, that'll keep me going for a while. I actually did some Portuguese with textbooks this morning, would you believe, instead of just Duolingo and it felt good. Do you ever think sometimes when you go into a slump of tiredness that actually it's caused by boredom, because I do. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I really do. And um, just looking at that pile there of interestingness makes me just perk up instantly in my mind, you know, like I'm waking up. Because the thought of sitting and doing that now with a coffee on the sofa is way exciting <laughs> compared to doing the other things I had on my list today. <laughs> Do you think I should just listen to myself and just take some time to do that and enjoy it and uh, then go to my rehearsal? Because I'll be rehearsing probably till 11pm tonight. Does that mean I can get like an hour in now on this? Uh, I don't know, all this justifying time spent lark that I do. <sighs> right, I am going to go do that set list though 
and I am going to go and check those flights in because I'm determined to get those ticked off the list at least. And then I might think about bunking off for a bit and doing some of that because it's just so fun and useful, obviously. Anyway, I made a lovely cup of coffee, so hopefully that'll help as well. Okay, sometime later and the set list is done. Oh yeah, well done me. I shall see if I can get these flights checked in now through my bleary tired eyes. I hate doing that sort of thing when I'm tired because I worry I'm going to miss stuff, but oh well. Then I think I will have a bit of a rest, to be honest, because I've got to rehearse all night tonight and I won't have any energy, I think, unless I just have a bit of a chill out for a bit. And here come the boarding passes. I did have a moment of panic, mind you, because I was just checking in on the app. I hate checking in on apps, but it actually worked this time. Normally when I try and check in flights on any app, I get to a certain point and it goes please try again later or something like that, but this one actually worked, um, so that was good. Um, but I was just completely confused, I couldn't see uh, hold luggage anywhere, I could just see cabin luggage and I thought I'd forgotten to get myself hold luggage, so I had to investigate, but no, it's fine, I, I did have it, it was just it wasn't listed on the app for some reason. Anyway, right, I've done that, uh, I am going to treat myself to a rest now, do some Portuguese learning because I'm tired and I've got a long night ahead of me. Quarter to five, I'm going to have to start thinking about stopping soon and getting some dinner on, so I've done some listening exercises and I've got the audio files on my computer here, so I've done a bit of that. I've done some filling in gaps and I've been chatting to ChatGPT in Portuguese, trying to get him or her or it to correct my sentences. I think it's done it. You never quite know with chat GPT whether it's quite right or not, but I'm experimenting with it to see how it can help me. Um, and also I've just composed a text, so I'm going to go through this sentence by sentence with chat GPT and see if I can persuade it to um, correct my mistakes and offer more fluid uh, sentences. Let's see how that works. Right, let's have a little go then. Ugh. She can be a bit... Chat, I call her she because I've set my chat GPT to a female voice because I like it. Anyway, I don't know if you know this with chat GPT, you can press a little headphones icon in the corner and uh, you can just do chatting instead of typing and you can chat in any language and it will pick up and respond in it. Theoretically, although my one keeps switching to Welsh and I can more or less understand it because it's quite, I think it speaks quite basic language, you know, so I think it's easy for learners to listen. You're listening to me, aren't you? Absolutely, I'm here and listening. If the language shifts unexpectedly, it might be a quirk. Anything specific you'd like to discuss or ask about? Sim, uh, quero praticar uh, meu português contigo. Ótimo. Ok, uh, ok. Estou aqui para ajudar. Obrigada. Podes fazer perguntas ou discutir qualquer tema em português. Como posso ajudar-te a praticar? Em feito, escrevi uns sentenças e quero ajudar... Uh, com correta uh, meus erros. Claro, estou aqui para ajudar. Manda as tuas sentenças e eu dou uma olhada nos possíveis erros. Aqui tem a sentença primeira. Eu não posso conduzir um carro, então devo de usar trânsito público com frequência. A tua sentença está quase perfeita. Só uma pequena correção. Eu não posso conduzir um carro. Então devo usar transporte público com frequência. Muito obrigada. Vou continuar mais tarde. Sem problema. Quando quiseres continuar, estou aqui. Até mais tarde. Até logo. Now, I just want to show you something. Let me just turn the screen brightness down a bit. I'm just showing you, in case this is useful to anybody. Is this going to focus? I wonder. Can you see, uh, if you go back to the other bit of it, it's got a transcript of everything you've said, so those, some of those little corrections I couldn't quite catch, but I can go back and read what she or it has said, so that's really handy, so I'm just going to do that now carefully and correct my mistakes, and then I'm going to continue off camera with it, so yeah, I think it's quite fun, like if you can't afford a teacher one-on-one, -on -one, it's a bit hit and miss, honestly, sometimes it just goes completely off the beaten track and doesn't really understand what you're talking about, but yeah, I think it's got great potential. <laughs> Love or hate AI, uh, yeah, this is, this is something I found quite useful. That's the, the headphonesy bit there. That's what the app looks like. Hang on. Do you see that little thingy? Just called ChatGPT, I think. Oh, another thing I've been doing with that is sometimes I'll just chat to it in the morning while my coffee pot's coming to, like, the heat or something, and I'll just say to it in Portuguese, Good morning. I'd like to practice my Portuguese conversation. Can you ask me some questions? And then it does. <laughs> but I have also found that it just always asks the same ones as well. So I need to get better at prompting it, I think. But it is really useful for practicing speaking because it can be 
quite difficult to do that, I think. You can get language partners, apparently, but I haven't quite got the nerve to do it, like, online. There's, like, websites you can go on to hook up with somebody who wants to learn English, for example, and they speak the language that you want to learn. So you do some of the session in your language and some of the session in their language. So you don't pay each other, but you get this mutual benefit of uh, practising in a kind of safe space. Well, yeah, because, like, when you're trying to practise speaking a new language out in the field, as it were, in the native country. Quite often, like, the native person can be busy, they might have a queue of people to get through and they just need to conduct the transaction as quickly as possible and I find that they're not always patient enough. So I have to pick my moments carefully, like, if there's no queue, I'll do my Portuguese, but if there's, like, a, a busy restaurant or something and they've got so many people to serve, sometimes, like, now I'm a lot better, but, like, earlier on it was just like, oh, I'll do this one in English. But anyway, that's quite handy, so I thought I'd mention it in case it was helpful. But, I mean, you can speak to it in English. You don't have to practice languages with it. You can ask it to help you with your homework and all sorts of things. Uh, right, I'm going to get on anyway. Something that's very useful about having the transcript of your conversation is I can check my spellings, because I'm, I'm rubbish at spelling in every language, frankly. <laughs> Worse in English, I think, because I think the Portuguese is a bit easier to spell in than English. Less inconsistencies, you know. Um, but, yeah, I've missed off a few accents and done the odd thing like that. Also, one of my mistakes was I forgot to specify that it was European Portuguese, so it's... I'm not sure if some of the corrections are correct in European, because they're a little bit different from the Brazilian version of the language. So anyway, yeah, just um, a little introduction to you and in how I do that. It's going to be mince pie o'clock now, two minutes. I'm boiling the kettle, but not for tea, it's for making the pasta. I'm going to cook the dinner and take it with us, so it's going to be torture if I can't eat it, hence I'm just going to have a little mince pie to keep me going. A bit of chilli's gone in first, straight from the freezer, look. Frozen chilli and it's going back in there now. One of you advised me to do that. It's brilliant. I keep my chilies in the fridge all the time now. I should be keeping my ginger in as well, but I haven't quite made that leap yet. That's still in the fridge. So for today's car picnic dinner in the dark and the freezing cold, I'm going for a sort of gluten-free pasta salad. Oh, I should say my boyfriend's wheat-free experimenting. He's not actually gluten-free and I realise there is a difference. Somebody kindly pointed out in the comments. So thank you for that. Yes, I had forgotten. Um, that's gluten-free pasta anyway. Tesco's own conchingly. It's cooked actually, so I've taken it off the heat and then I'm gonna strain it and put it in there and just stir it in. And then I'm gonna pop it in these pots. There's one there. And then in here, now I used to put, do our pack lunches in here and I used it to keep things cold, but I was thinking, what if I could use it to keep things hot? And it's got all this padding in here when I was trying and failed to keep my daughter's medication cool one time in case of a power cut. Well, it didn't work, believe me. But anyway, it's only got to last about an hour. I don't know about them sucking the lids in though, if they cool down in transit, you know, we might not be able to get the lids off. <laughs> we'll be doing a big fight in the car and then you can imagine like pull it off, it'll go pop and then all the pasta will go everywhere. I'm not sure if these are going to both fit because look, but they might do. I think they might just about do it with a squeeze. And we're also going to have these, one each of these, so I have to remember to put a spoon in. And a big bag of cheesy puffs because he does like his cheesy puffs. I'm not that fussed on them to be honest, but I'll take the whole bag because they can just stay at his house then, can't they? I'm all packed. Yes, I did get the food in there because there was quite a lot of capacity in that fold over lid actually. So hopefully that'll stay hot. That's my camera bag, that's my flute bag and my music, my laptop and my editing -y stuff, you know. Anyway, right, I'm going to pack this away now and head out the door. I've been having a lovely relaxing time on the bus been on for a while. I've been drinking a can of pop out of my fridge and generally enjoying life. Actually stopping for a rest. Look where the food is, it's under there. Well you can't see. I've completely buried it in coats and hats and scarves and things. Okay we're in the car. It's been out of it's been out an hour and it's absolutely steaming hot and lovely, isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah, he's been making lots of contented grunty noises. Oh, he's a happy boyfriend. <laughs> happy hour, space man, baby.
forgotten what I was doing. <laughs> oh, we finished. I don't know what time it. What time is it? Eleven ish. Is it? Oh, t- uh, it's to twenty-two fifty-four and fifty-eight seconds. Oh, okay. All right, now it's five two. Oh, we've left. It's minus one. Minus one degrees, a bit chilly. I'm back at IB's now. If you'd like to watch more videos from me, feel free to choose one from this playlist up here. Bye.